scooch this over. I'm going to move this, make this nice and big so we can see it. Come right here. There we go. All right, hang on. Get rid of those with your casting shock. So load up my brush. Uh, I am going to go ahead and, well, I'll leave some space. Never mind. Uh, I guess something like that. I don't want to be too dramatic but with this angle. But whoopsie, there's some hidden phthalo in my brush. Dark, dark, dark. That's good enough for now. And oh, I'm actually, because this has the blue, I'm going to get another brush like that. Wide. And, but I want it to be clean because I want to mix up a light color. That's the ringtone I used for my dad, but I'm pretty sure I made my phone should be silenced. <laughs> so that's somebody else's phone. <laughs> but that's that's my dad's ringtone in my house. Okay, today I'm going to. Just give me warning by calling I'll go ahead and meet Allison just just for her privacy. I'm wiping off the oil over here because I don't want oil right now, but I do want this spot to mix up. Oh, maybe actually I'm gonna come over here. A lot of white. Ah, uh, and a little yellow, and I'm not sure if I'll change my mind about that later. But for now, a little yellow, a lot of white because. I want to find, and I don't, I wipe this out, I don't want the blue in there. I want this light space back here. More, more paint, that is. And this is a moment where I love having a, I've, I've got a jar of brushes, so I can just put that gooey brush in the jar where it's not going to cover anything with paint. More titanium white. A lot more. That's over there, too. Well, this is a very particular approach that I'm using with this, like, laying down the paint so thick. I'm thinking of scraping off, and I'll show you that in a minute, like, so what if I just, there's, there's lights, oopsie, very yellowy, uh, and you might say, I don't think you should tint your white with the yellow, you should tint it with just a little bit of a cooler blue, uh, let me put, see it peeking, oh, unless we want to put that wall that we talked about, which could be really cool, mm, over there, a little bit of, no sky, okay, back over here, over here, I'm wiping this out because there's a little bit of blue in there, and I don't want the blue, um, take the shape of this, and, and then, uh, so what are we going to do here, maybe I'll go for the light, stone color, which I will also mix up with this brush. Hmm. I'm going to take some of the burnt umber. I'm inclined to take some of the yellow ochre, but that will be very yellow. So let's see, a little bit of this burnt umber, but the stone's catching the light. Oops, look how dark. Well, it doesn't look as dark on the screen. I want it to, to be light. I want it to be a lighter value than the gate, because I, it looks so light. Oh, what do you do? How do I get rid of some of these guys? Won't let me? Hmm. Undo add rectangle. Great. Now you want me to get rid of some stuff? Edit. Undo add rectangle. Edit. Now I can just delete, 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 and delete. Though I'm kind of interested, I'm going to take a dark, dark color. I'm going to draw over here, thinking, what if we want, do we want a brick wall in here? Is that too much? I don't know. I can't make up my mind if we want, maybe it wouldn't make sense to have the wood attached to a brick wall. I don't know. I'm going to leave that line there. Then I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to take the duplication, and I am going to adjust the color and make it unsaturated, desaturate the color, so we can see what the overall value pattern is like. And what I find striking is the way the pathway is light. There's sunshine on the pathway, and the door is dark. And that is less apparent to me in the color version, but that seems very important to the light pattern of what we're looking at. So I want to keep that in mind. Uh, okay, so I'm keeping that other in mind. And that means, and I guess this is a lighter value. Oh, we can see, the thing I like about the gray palette is that it helps me figure out the light or dark of a color. Certainly when I put my gray here next to the blue, it is a much lighter value, so I know that. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to put a little bit, oh, but I am thinking of perspective, so when I think of these bits of, of the light catching the rock. Really, I want more vertical marks like this, so it looks like, because that's how the stones might look in perspective. That makes any sense. So it's going to get, it's dark over there, but now I'm making, I'm, here I'm not doing careful observation, I'm simply thinking, well, they're going to be bigger in the foreground, overall, and smaller in the background. And, uh, let's see, maybe there's another up here. And I'm, I'm being a brute about, like, I'm really generalizing for now. I just want one lightish color. You could say that's the wrong color, or whatever, but it's something, because I want to be able to see what's happening in the picture. Um, at this point, I wonder if I could use this brush. It's not like too much that brown color. I'm just going to bring the... Oh, I did bring it pretty low. All right, totally low. Fine. Um, maybe I try mixing up that. Ah, oh, there's no phthalo green. Here's your phthalo green. Don't put your brush in your teeth. There's plenty of time to put it in the can. Margaret, I'm going to have to leave now. All, All right. right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great day, I mean, Have a great week. Bye. Bye. Oopsie, our faces got all... How did you do that, faces? over faces. All right, there we go. I'm thinking, so I, I see these plants kind of, oh, and this makes me think, this, I don't want to get too far off, it makes me think of the other references, like say this one, and because perhaps I just flipped it because I thought, well, maybe these just look like weeds and they're still lovely, but maybe we don't want weeds there. Maybe we want these, whatever these pink, possibly rosy things, maybe we want those on the other side of our doorway right here. So we might, we, we could say that's what we're having, the roses in the light instead of these green plants in the light. Let's see, and, ah, and here's where 
I, I did put, I mean, any of the reds will do, but I, I was thinking roses will point out the quinacridone rose, uh, but maybe a little cadre. And this, so these, maybe we want some roses in the light over there. Uh, in front of the path, sort of. Yeah, that'll give a little more contrast to the just green. Yeah, and I, but I'm keeping them light for now, because these other greens, I mean, I guess the roses would be, they would have green, they're not just flowers, but I am thinking of the, of how really it's the light is sort of blasting through all that. Mm -hmm. So it's just a little bit, and then maybe we do want to come back to hmm. some darker greeny stuff in the, uh, I think, did you have that some of this? It's coming along beautifully, Monday. Thank you, but notice there was only sort of three or four things. There's the, the dark ground, the gate, and the light stuff, and some light of this, and that th that is, oh, maybe I, maybe this is, I'm not sure, I'm going to try a little sort of soil color. To just some brownish over here, <laughs> and I'm gonna lower this this stone. Yeah. Um, so it was a cooler color, a little ultramarine blue and a little brown or burnt umber variety of brown, more ultramarine. So that's happening. Uh, okay, keep going. What I? Ooh, well, I hmm. I have this brown and this blue, and I'm thinking of the post. Why not just you could just go really dark with this post? Hmm. Dark, 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 and then maybe we'll show the ferns or some other plant from one of our other references. You know, mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, they're the roses again. So I think. Uh, Maybe we want, who knows? But, well, so I'm thinking of other plant possibilities, but uh, we've got this dark, dark post. And you might say, oh, well, and then who knows? It's just dark stuff down here. Very much, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like you're, I think of your reference, Jenny, was just the dark, the stuff in the shadow. It's dark. Who knows what the stuff is? Just dark. And maybe we even pull it a little bit. Oh, there's some kind of light in that post. And uh, I'm still not sure if this should be some kind of uh, a wall where we let the light of the world peek through. What do you want to do, Paula? If you were painting this, what would you do? The, a brick wall or a fence or just paint exactly what you're looking at here in this one? Well, I think I'd probably just do the vegetation. I like that because then we're not trying to make things up. <laughs> Our vegetation is. I don't know. I'm probably not the right person to ask. No, but you are because I, I think you're, especially because you, you, you chose these pictures because they move you. And so. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think I have the imagination to have something more to it, you know. Uh, anyway, I, that intrigues me, though, that you would. Yeah, you could do that. Well, you could. It may or may not work so well. <laughs> you know, I don't. I don't know. When I have done the paintings, I have where I combine images like that. They do have a flatter look to them. You can tell. I mean, maybe you even could tell when we looked at that quick slideshow of the still life by the water. Mm. It was pretty flat, and that happens when I combine images. Um, so <laughs> you can bear that in mind. Um, so this way, the green is working. The background green is working to show the vegetation by just putting the dark marks on it. Yeah, it did so right. much work for me, right? Because I and even. I mean, it will continue to. Um, let's see. I, what I like about painting the picture as it is without imagining is that I can just. I feel like it will make it pretty easy. Um, oh, I see. And, and then now you're putting the weight on it. Yeah. Make that light come through on the top. And I couldn't even tell you exactly what I mean by these particular strokes, but when I look up there, I, I see some yeah. light, yellow light, greeny light, okay. darker greeny light. And um, mm. so, so don't just pop in those different things in. And I suppose for that, I was looking around because I thought, this is my lightest brush now. Do I really want to gunk it up with other stuff? Uh, what else light can I? Maybe. Oh, I know. Hey, no. <laughs> is that puppy? No, that's my other dog. If I know. Oh. Puppy's sleeping, I think, somewhere. Oh, okay. How's I take care of myself? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you, um, are you getting any sleep, Jenny? Uh, yeah, we've been getting any sleep for the past couple of days because now she has to run to the house. Oh. She's down on her um, cage. Not cage, she's got a plane right? Yeah, yeah, her pen. Uh, when she got a little older, she started barking and making our life impossible for two nights. And oh. then we decided, okay, what if we just keep her in one room and close the door? I only work for one night. Oh. Right? <laughs> the, the next night, that didn't work. The door, you don't close the door on her. No, she couldn't tell anything. So she wanted to sleep anywhere she wants to in the house, but she's not destructive at all. So. Oh, good. So, so she's, for the past three nights, she's been sleeping anywhere in the house. Ooh. And you've been sleeping? I am. My husband hasn't. He, oh. has to, he has to take him out at 2.30 or 2 o'clock in the morning Ooh. and, and done her business and then come back to the house, but she's been doing well. well. That's good. Yeah. And now she goes, the door is open, she goes to the bathroom herself. Oh, that's and great. we have a corner of the grass. She doesn't go on the grass, really. And she goes and put a, a fence around it. She goes through the fence to the next door, next door neighbor's house, <laughs> I know. Through the knees, and she goes there. Oh. But not really, it's not the neighbor's yard, because our property is still, just like or, 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 or fence, it hasn't gone all in our boundaries. It's not really on our boundaries. It's closer to our house, so we have some space. So, but that's what she does. It's so amazing how they develop these habits, and you can break them after they do that. So you get to sleep, and you don't have to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning to walk them? No, no, but I do stay late, and I, put, I take it out. She goes outside by 10.30 or so, uh, before she goes to bed, really. And so that was okay. She's doing excellent. She's doing very good. I'm glad you're getting some sleep. I am looking around for my favorite palette knife, and I'm not finding it. It's just, it's shorter than this. It's not a matter now, really, but I, I wanted more yellow, and I thought, maybe I'm never going to use that yellow over there. So I'll bring it over here, but I am going to need a palette knife. Okay, more yellow. Let's see. Yellow. I'm not being very specific with the marks, as you can tell. I, I sort of feel like I want to see how much I can get away with with just these little dabs. You might wish to say, I'm going to spend more time and think more carefully about what the shapes of these bits are. Um, you might, that could be quite a good idea, <laughs> instead of just going in with a giant brush and making generic shapes. Uh, but let me see how much I can get. And you also might want to play around a little bit more with the color. Uh, like perhaps perhaps the greens up here have a little bit more of a turquoise quality. Uh, I'm amazed how you accomplished the darkest green on your picture, Marlene. Well, I, you saw how easy that was. So easy. And by starting with the ground color. I'm just looking to push the colors a bit, so I thought, well, what if I 
what if I put a little turquoise up there? And maybe even some down here kind of catching the light. Maybe. Um, but I, I want to make even bigger statements thinking about this ferny thing. And it does free me up that Paula said, I think I would just paint what's there because then I, I don't have to think so hard. I guess this is the same color. Um, and there you can see I painted wet into wet. That brown is thick and wet, but I, I loaded my brush and I painted it and just one stroke. I won't go back or it will turn to mush. So one stroke and I wipe out my brush oh, I see. with the oil paint. Actually, at this point, you don't even need, if, if you want to, you don't want to put the, 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 the trunk of the tree. I've been thinking about that. that well, no, I, I like the tree trunk. And what I like about it is that it's dark, but it's not as dark as some of the dark. So I was more, the only reason I really hadn't done that is because I was thinking I, I wasn't ready to get my brush brown. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I, I like the trunk of the tree over there. And hmm. and I like, I might go a little bit in the sienna direction, for, mm -hmm. which is towards red, which will be a nice compliment to the green. So mm -hmm. let's see what this value looks like. Oh, oh, but I chopped off this side of the candy. You see how there's not as much room in my painting. Oh, well, let's see. Where do I want to put this then? Um, and God, I was sort of stingy with the paint. So I'm not sure in the, in the reference, it's over to the right of the post. But my post is thick and I either want the tree to overlap in front or to be next door. Yeah, and I don't like my options. So it's, it's nice the way that tree shrunk. Well, I, I need to not think too hard. And I'm really trying to load up my brush because I'm going on top of wet paint. I might move my that thing back and I have to mix up more paint. <laughs> There's really nothing else here. But I do like the tree trunk and I, I like how it bends and then it does get darker. I'll use a little, eh. I don't like how I didn't leave quite as much room as I would have liked to for it. It gets really dark up here. Oops, and there goes my light brush. It's now very dark. And uh, nothing over, over here. All right. So I like the way, I, I, I want to capture the way the tree branch is darker than what it's next to the, the pale, pale green but it's not as dark as what I had. And in some places it is darker, some places it's lighter. I really like that variety. Um, and I'm gonna bring, this is where having a lot of brushes is handy because I really do want the light. I, I don't wanna have to, I want light and if having a clean brush will just help me get that. So I'm just gonna use another brush so I can go back to that very bright, far away color. And um, as I take some white, I'm gonna go over here so I can use, I want a little of this phthalo y bluey color in my white. And I'm gonna see a little bit of my brush and just, uh, Where else might this come through the shape of the leaves? Maybe that's it. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, or maybe I'll even put this over here. Uh, I'll do a whole lot more just light over here, so I'm gonna plonk down a lot of this and wait, I'll come back. Uh, more light. Where's my light? Okay, right here. So I like how there's a kind of bluey greeny light over here, and then there's a more yellowy greeny light. And but I don't like I want to go back to. Uh, ooh, or this is kind of the odd. I want to take some of this light. Uh, and see what happens if I put the light into the light, like it's a, some kind of light, bluey, greeny stuff. Because I feel like that's what I see in the photo a bit. And um, I need to address the darks over here that I'm missing. And maybe, I don't know, what if I take things back to the yellowy green? A little bit, meh. Um, maybe, I kind of want to cover up some of these darks because there's not that many of these darks over here. Uh, okay, there's a little light at the very bottom of the door. Yeah, there's a little white there. Um, but the middle, that was, it's almost like it's supposed to be this stone, this stone showing at the very bottom, I think, of the gate. Do you mean, see something white there? I don't know what that is. I always wonder if it's something on the photo or, but I feel like that throws us off. I, I think I'll ignore that. Okay. I think, because until I, because yeah. it doesn't, unless it suddenly strikes me as to serve a sort of purpose, but I am, that does draw my attention. What do I want down here? Because the path doesn't seem to be there. Maybe I, I'm just following my reference. It's little bits of green stuff. <laughs> and so maybe. Course, if it's not catches you, I think, don't bother with it. I think so. Yeah, is that, okay. unless, if for some reason, yeah, unless it moves you. Like if I thought, yeah. I really like that. There's something about it that makes the picture for me. Then I put it in, okay. um, but only if you want to put it in. In this case, I don't see how it would serve the picture. Um, yeah. I'm wondering, I'm going to go in with some more darks, dark blue, dark brown, dark green, and just, oh, well, that's fine. Now I look back at the painting and I think, why? What was that for? <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, funny how that happened. Back in here, maybe. Oh, well, this would be for a smaller brush, but I do want, eventually I want other marks than just my little, my dabs. It might, but, uh, da, 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 what if I, let's see if I can capture that. It looks like a fern to me. Oh, now I remember what I wanted the dark for, <laughs> now that I've got the light. Uh, and I, yeah, okay, wipe that out. And, um, I'm going to stop for a moment and look. Just put the whole of it. I think I want to block in some darks there. And I think I want to get a little bit of the shape of the leaves on this tree at the upper right. Uh, but maybe I also want to block in some darks here. Like, oh, now I see that this, this bit of green, is this crawling up and over here? Mm -hmm. um, but but I, want to, I want to, what simple things can I do to still tie this together? I'm going to, this is a little persnickety, but I'm thinking of whatever these like ferny things here, kind of in the dark shadows. Hmm. A little, little bit of that. So persnickety. I'm looking for some bigger moves, although not so persnickety. It looks a little, little bit more of the browns instead of greens, or it looks almost black here. And um, but maybe I even want a little bit of the some sort of darker green in there. Okay, and then what do I want? I want my dark. Oh, I could get really dark, like dark blue, because over on the left it looks so wonderfully deep and dark. So I could go even darker. Then it's hard for you to tell because there's glare. 
but I could see what happens if I turn this lamp off. Hmm. Actually, we can see more texture, can't we? You can't you still see a lot of glare there. That doesn't help. But um, tell me if you found the light more helpful. I want to get some darker darks on that side. And uh, I don't go that dark there, but like dark over. And this is, um, it's really hard to see here. But I'm putting dark, almost like a blue-black. Blue, ultramarine blue, and burnt umber over there to get some darks, even darker. And then I'm going to pull back from that really dark. And maybe not, I'll put lots of dark, 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 dark. And uh, maybe I want some of that over here, too. I feel such a kinship with Bob Ross. So I still want dark, but not that dark. I'm going to take some phthalo and maybe even um, stuck in the foreground. I'm going to take yellow ochre, phthalo. There might be too much light over here. Let's see what happens. It's dark, but yeah, I'll do some of this. Oh, and that could be a good color. That's an olive color with those wonderful shapes of the leaves on that tree. I love those shapes. You could argue for a smaller brush and <laughs> make a lot of sense. I have a feeling, Margarita, when you want the one size brush. I, for some reason, I feel that you should continue finishing your whole painting with one size brush. Oh, Jenny. Or, or do you, or uh, because of the strokes? Mm, possible. I, I'm, uh, I like that idea, but I I, I, did, I got the small, smaller brush out. Uh, I wonder, oh, um, I know I wasn't very thoughtful. So I, I wonder, does anybody else have a feeling like if I started with a small brush or that you should work one brush the whole way through? Well, sometimes you have like an edge. I see, I don't know what I see. I do see a dark line from the top of the, from the top of the door to the very bottom. And some bright piece of wood on the very top, piece of wood that went across the door, the gate. So maybe you probably need a smaller brush, right? I'm not sure. Anyhow, maybe you should be brush anyhow. Or, yeah, um, are, are you thinking of the, like, the paper is folded here? Oh, right, is that right, it? right below the line, below there's like white wood on the plate that's black, oh. there's a black mark on it. On the, on the, on the, on the, oh, right the there, plate. yeah. So, you know what, that would be good. I think I'm still more general. Um, I'm still thinking of the really big picture, but that would be more particular. Um, uh -huh. but no time like the present. What that showed me though is that now I'm, I am getting more specific and now that I'm getting more specific, my gate looks wonky. Um, yeah. so I wonder if I, if I do this, will it help? Eh, maybe, <laughs> maybe make it work. Uh, but anyhow, you've been working with your big brush all this time. Yeah, I think so. Although I think it looks like I did some roses with that smaller brush. Um, mm -hmm. so I want to keep my gate straight up and down and, uh, go back. But I do think, I think showing some of that thing you were talking about could be helpful because, um, well, just any little marking, like if we show that there's something happening on it. It's not a flat surface, but there's sort of an under plane. Oh, I'm not even drawing it right. And this, I think I do want a small brush. I think I do. Uh, because for, for just that, if we, oh, I was trying to decide if that bit is under, this part is above our eye level. And so it's going this way, but oh, maybe this is, maybe our eye level is right here. Draw for me. Yeah. Well, draw for me. I wonder why. Uh, maybe it's something invisible ink. Anyway, so maybe it's straight, but I, I thought whatever I do here could help indicate where we are in, in position, in reference sort of to the gate. Maybe that goes like that. And we've got this, I like how the gate, sort of a shadow on that. Mm -hmm. And then it continues down there somewhere. And then we can't see, it's more like on the other side, it's a little lighter so that it catches the light a little bit here, maybe. Like, oh, I might have gotten some of catches. Maybe it catches the light a little there. And maybe there's a little catches of light somewhere in here. We'll see, I just kind of mix it up. And it's so wet that it, because I, I was gonna, I was actually gonna scrape this gate. Uh, I was so, Margaret, you, you, um, you, you, you know, this is like you have the blue, and now you can put it off white and white, white and black. Are you using? Mm -hmm. I mean, could you? I'm sure at one point it's going to start to mix together. Yeah. So put it there, lay on it, it won't work, right? Yeah, and that's right. Just now, because I really laid it down, I scraped it off with a palette knife. Okay. So I just I scraped that all off, so it's okay. not as much paint. And sometimes okay, I, I could scrape down the whole thing. Okay. Um, and right. then I can say, well, now there's less paint. I, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to work into the less paint there. So. Uh, All right, because I never done that. I never remove paint from whatever I'm doing. Yeah, you so can't do it. Watching you. you can't do it with acrylic, and you can't do it with watercolor. Oh, well, you kind of can a little bit, as you know, but you can with oil. And um, I kind of only halfway went there with the oil today, but sometimes I'll lay down a whole the whole painting thick and scrape it all off and work into it more subtly. I can't even okay. Do that. Now, what would happen if I did this right now? I don't have my favorite my favorite scraping knife, which is just shorter than this. Mm -hmm. But um, you can see how even if I scrape now, not much happens over there. I scrape yeah. the thick part, but I could scrape that and and work back into it if I felt like that was really thick. Um. I don't feel a need to do it because I liked, no, I like that stuff. So now I'm like, oh, I did like, I like what was happening over there and now it's gone. So that wasn't such an effective scrape. Huh. Um, I want to come back with some of that pretty light. I just scraped right down to the, you could, you don't have to scrape right down to the very bottom of the canvas. Okay. okay. Lost all my nice selfies, but they could come back easily. I sort of, ooh. And some of it is just, and this is where I do want other brushes. I, I want to, I don't want to even out the greens too much. I'm thinking I want some seem just very yellowy, so I want to keep them yellowy. Mm -hmm. And, um, Oops, <laughs> sort of nothing happened. Uh, more yellow. Because hmm. uh, it was too much to say with exactly what was there. But let's see there. It's hard to tell. Maybe on the... No, you can see it. So, a little variety of the light against the light. I don't think those words made really any sense, but... Yeah. And it seems cooler. It seems like things get a little cooler up top. Oopsie. <laughs> a whole lump of yellow. Uh, and, okay. Why is it going 
a little more general. So what if I take some of this? The um, sienna's and a little kind of sienna brown. But not that dark. <laughs> Who knows? But Margaret, I like it when you did that. Uh, I can see the light going through on the right hand side next to the bottom uh, with, with, the, with the gaze attached. I can see a little light going through at the bottom. I like that. Yeah. Like like right down here? Yeah, yeah, down below, right there. Yeah, you can see the light still going through. Yeah. If you want to put more, maybe I got a little silly with it. But, uh, and we are going to work on this other green. Like, oh, I just noticed that this trunk has another lid. Now I'm just hunting around for where I have mixing space on my palette with the painting. Typically, you won't have a painting smack in the middle of your palette. Hmm. Okay. It's just for Zoom. <laughs> I like how this branch is light in front of the door and the dark post. And then we've got, oh, time for more green on the top. I'm thinking about this tree. Does anybody have a word, a name you would call this tree? <laughs> no. Those leaves are so round, it looks like some kind of, like a rubber tree or? It looks like a fig tree. Oh, it is figgy in the leaf shape. Mary, can you name this tree? No. Okay. <laughs> but it does look vaguely, like, it does look sort of like a fig tree, doesn't it? Yeah, those, those leaves. Anyway, they're distinctive, and they're different from the, uh, the shape, the ivy shapes, and the ferny shapes, and the other shapes. So, so I'm thinking about those. But let's look. What does it need? It needs those, and obviously this is flat up there. Ooh, stick with the fig leaves, Margaret. It's not fig, but you know what I mean. So we got more green and some ochre. So some of them are very dark, and some of them are light. And I, I don't want to just do in the middle. This might be in the middle, and yeah, it's kind of dark. Uh, I'm trying to make a sort of different stroke. Need more paint. Some of these, oh, they're not that dark. Ooh. Oh, and let's, let's see, for these that come down into the light, they aren't quite as dark. Oh, they just look dark as they're in front of the light. Wiping that out, bringing it up again. Um, dark, yellow. Where, where do you take this picture? Um, what, I'm sorry, say it again. Where do you take this picture? Oh, this is not, it's not a photograph. It's, um, oh. it, it was on a calendar, an old calendar I had. I mean, it is a photograph, but not, it's a photograph that was on a calendar. Oh, yeah, I, didn't take, I didn't take it. And you, and you liked it? You liked it? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, it's a really cool. old calendar. I don't even know what year. And that's what I love that about this project is that um, it's it's a project that I think we all have, like, something that's been in your mind for a long time, and it hasn't ever quite had the right time to show up. And sometimes ideas um, hang around for decades before yeah. you get to play around with them. And I think getting comfortable with that instead of thinking, oh, I have all these ideas I never follow through on. No, you have ideas, and it's like a treasure trove, and... You know, it's just not its decade yet sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, Mary? <laughs> That's the same way to look at it. <laughs> but now it's me to finish my daughter's dress. I'm like uh, 15 years in a box that I haven't finished it. <laughs> it's not even two decades, that idea. Well, That's, yeah. ah, it's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> An idea baby. I should write down. So I read, I'll read different artists and poets, and they, they remind me of that, but I don't, I don't remember a lot of the particular stories, but I know they happen where, oh, yeah, this idea I had 30 years ago. <laughs> Well, I met my, my son's well, Tobiah Kai, when he went to, he was going to college, like 20 years old. Yeah. Uh, 25 years old. Uh, we went together. Why did I do that? This, this little square I was supposed to sew together, and mm. I got sentimental. If I make him a quilt, he'd remember me. Oh. I never finished it. Uh -oh. And did he forget you? No, no, he didn't There you go. I'm glad. So the quilt wasn't necessary after all. <laughs> no, 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 no. But if you want to make him a quilt for 20 years from now, you have my permission. <laughs> yeah, I know. I should put it together, really. I had a friend when I used to live in Armistry uh, in Providence. A friend of mine was into quilting, and she, I helped her cut her quilt. She helped me cut my quilt. She was supposed to help me put my quilt together because I didn't know anything about quilting. But she never helped me with my oh. mine. So, so one time I reminded her about it. He said, I helped you cut a quilt, but I never put it together. And that was very rude of me. The portrait said, that was very rude of me. Oh, no. I put it together. So if I ever just need it again, I'm going to have her help me put this together. She has a Vermont. I don't think I can see her. Do they, um, does the Candy Craft Club do quilting? Mm, Anybody no, know? No, I know. <laughs> no. This quilting is supposed to be a trip around the world. So I bet I just read oh. instructions. shoes on. I can find the instructions to put it together. So. Paula, as I'm sort of picking away at this, do you have questions? Is there anything in particular you you would like to that you want to make happen in this painting? Or no, I'm just fascinated by how you're just putting all those dabs of color down, and it looks like leaves, but you're not trying to forcibly make them look like leaves. So it, it's really interesting. I love it. Oh, good. I, but <laughs> I, that, that's yeah. my dilemma: is how to simplify these shapes, and you, and that's exactly what you're doing. And I'm making a little bit of an effort to like I laugh before I can even explain myself because it seems like it's not. But I'm trying to make those leaves look like our figgy shaped leaves, and I'm trying to make those look more like ferns. But it would yeah, take I the only, right? only you, though, <laughs> can see the difference. Only you all who've been watching me, perhaps. Uh, uh, oh, I just, I just, I love looking at the red. I, I love trying for it, like trying for these little chunks of yellow, ch chunks of a different color and where they're alike, but different. It's such a pleasure. But I do want to pull back actually on these little bits and think, oh, I want, I do want the sense of this tree being its own. It's got these leaves and it's apart from on the left. All of that greenery seems farther back. Mm. 
So I think I could, I could lighten it up and I can darken some of these to get that feeling of this being farther back in the distance. Uh, maybe. <laughs> and smaller marks. So if I do smaller marks, a little lighter, maybe a little cooler on the left. And it's not even on the left, they're in the same places. But if it's a little, if it were cooler, if it were lighter, if they're itsier, bitsier marks, it might appear smaller. And hmm, bitsier, bitsier marks over there. Different kind of plans. I don't like how, I don't like the shape that's appearing here. I think I want. I want this to look more, it's sort of an elegant arc here, and I've got these hard bits. And maybe, maybe I need to bring the dark back over here. A moment. Maybe. Oh, I guess I could come over here with, with some of these leaves. Oh, and I, I wish I could get, it would be nice to get a little of that pointy ivy shape. Uh, but I, I don't want it to look too cartoony. Mm. Uh, it's, a little, it's a little shape, a little pointy, and some of them have that a, a spade look to them. Some are more complicated. And, uh, hmm. Oh, and I can even put a little, you see a little bit of the vine sometimes catching the light? So uh -huh. I'm taking a, the edge of my brush to make, oh, I want a little darker color, or a different color. See if we could show vines. Oh, and we could do that over here somewhere, maybe. This, uh, oh, uh -huh. this little against the dark. Um, or maybe just for fun. I don't see a whole lot. Oh, I put, the, I put something dark in front of our trunk. And that, I don't know. That, that could be fine. What if I just put, put other lines? I'm not sure what these lines are. Oh, maybe they're like a little, oops, that's too light. I don't want that that light. I was thinking ferny. Maybe, maybe if I got it the right, not too dark, not too light, I could make some fern shapes over there too. A little more yellow. Uh, fern shape. Okay, so I'm kind of imagining because I wanted that. Yeah. Little ferny shapes? Does that look ferny? I'm losing it. It's mixing in. Hmm. Uh, that's because that's like a third layer, right? Yeah, <laughs> and I was, but oh, actually, it does work. It's just that I was, I wasn't cleaning my brush off. So it, it does okay. work when I make one stroke and then wipe my brush off. But over here, I started to go dab, 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 dab. So that was like four strokes instead of one stroke, which matters with the oil. Okay. Not with your acrylic paint. You can layer and you'll be fine. So, and actually, and then I just did many strokes. I was thinking, how do I get the, the ferny look seems to come from single? Hmm. Um, okay, I want to pull back and think, but what will really tell us about this picture? You might say these lines are too dark or um, there's still a hard line in there. So I want to get, I don't want quite that hard line happening. And oh, what about the, this tree is still not quite as distinct as it could be. What if I pushed it very dark? I could even put some alizarin crimson. I think that's a red margaret, not red, but sometimes the dark, I make my dark greens like a, with, with the alizarin crimson uh, and the phthalo to make it, well, I think put that down here, dark and foregroundy and contrasting with the green. And uh, I like to say some, some of the leaves catch, we see them silhouetted against the darker other leaves. And they still kind of group together. <laughs> shapes, what are the shapes of these leaves? And then a little ambiguity wouldn't hurt. And then maybe we even want some little bit of light catching. No, it's not going to catch. Um, okay, if, what else do we want to make it read kind of right? Oh, I forgot, you know, I talked about how much I love the idea that we could see a tree back there and we could see other things. Um, the tree, and then now I'm even noticing it's so wonderfully. I want more yellow on my palette. The stones are bugging me because I only put the bare minimum in, so I feel like they could use a little bit more resolution. And I also wonder what I could do if I, if I just painted what I saw. We've got sort of a light tree back there. Does it stay this light? I don't know. Maybe. And where is it with a it's right level with this? So maybe there's oopsie. So that is a darker value than what it's around there. When I look at the not what I'm calling a tree, it's light with dark on either side. But hey, since <laughs> maybe I'll just stick with this because I put it down and uh, okay, I don't want to be cartoony about it either. And. There's the shape. Let's see what other little shapes back here in the darkness. Oh, not bad. That's too dark. Okay, I'm gonna go for say the ochre and white, but really light, and see what happens if I. Oh, that's too light. What happens if I kind of is that maybe too dark? Maybe we want some. I want it to be really close to that high value. So that's better closer. And I'm not exactly sure what I'm painting back here, but um, I'm thinking of maybe trees in the distance. Just something. I might, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in other places because it, it will make it less flat if I just very, very what's happening. But um, I did, as I said, I got that value mixed up and it seems like if I have dark around a lighter value, maybe I could try that if I could find any clean light on my page. What if I make my tree trunk bright white and it's reaching its lights? I don't know if I mean to make it quite that but I, I'm putting straight up white on the canvas now because I feel like it's, it's bright lights, light inside the light, which just thrills me. Uh, more white in here, like if it's light inside, there's some over here too, white. I don't think I have. So back to the tree, light inside light. It's just light. Oh, nope, it didn't, didn't stick. Or it did stick, but it was already a darker color. Oh, oh, and I could be using a really tiny brush that way. Oh, and then the ground, or what I'm thinking looks like ground. What's that? Say that again? Maybe not for me. Um, 
Oh, we could pretend again with our roses. If we had anything light left on our palette, we could say, oh, there's roses out there in the bright, bright sun. I could barely see them, and maybe they're far away. Um, and then maybe the door's looking a little flat. And just... And maybe you think it's, oh, it's really dark in that corner of the door over here. It's hard to tell it from the... And here I'm mixing, I'm letting the paint mix a little bit, which I, I don't, I often don't do, but I am, well, I sort of was mixing it on the... So, and what's up with my... Oh, I see what I was doing. This is dark. Um, maybe it's getting a little muggy. So I could just get darker, like, I could say, well, it's hard to tell what's door and what's post. And that could solve my problem, or it could just make everything really ambiguous, I'm not sure. I feel like taking a little bit of the lighter blue and just finding, oh, even lighter, I guess, putting it on the end of my brush and, uh, just picking that up, maybe. Oh, my God. Oh, and that reminds me. Oh, what's happening here? That we could, we like the way these vines are climbing around, so then I could go, maybe I'll even use a really, like, even brush, even brush. Green, yellow ochre, and, um, for the leaf, leaf. It looks a little bit rosy, those like a weedy well i'll be quiet i'll try to talk uh, and then maybe i don't know if it's lighter or darker but we see that maybe it's darker this was fun and it's climbing up over here and then it gets to the light and it gets all bleached out but we still see it this is really cool oh my god and then maybe we see a little bit of green there and some sort of middle oh my goodness yes we made too big a deal of it but and what else oh wait these leaves are more exciting than i have them they are really really is See, but I need a big brush again. Oh. I, I'm also wondering, what if I go straight up yellow over it instead of fine? There's some lines up here. I'm not really getting them. Um, this is, oh, we could put a little more little bits. What if I just take the yellow over and little tiny somethings, bits of leaf? Oh, I wonder, well, I feel like the, the rocks need attention, but I was thinking it could be fun to then go around and hunt for places to sneak red in, to, to um, set off the green. And I think if I were to do that, if, if I took my sweet alizarin crimson, I, I might try to outline leaves over here somehow. I'll just put, put some reds in the dark. I don't know. And of course we can't see it because of the glare. It's just a little darker really. It's a different sort of dark. We'll be able to see it next week when it's not so wet. Okay, rocks. What do we do with these? Oopsie. Okay. We just don't want those. We want the sides of them, I think. If you have any suggestions, shout them out for the, the rocks. I'm try this just like maybe there's some white in there i kind of get lazy with my pile of paint oops that's pretty yellow that's what i meant by lazy like i'm just maybe the yellow uh, we want some dark like high contrast up here but i also think maybe not this much especially here where the rocks can kind of overlap each other we don't see any i think i just kind of cover up that and what i can't figure out they really do it doesn't make sense to my brain that the gate would be opening out like, I feel like the path should be here too, but it's not. So, and now that I'm working on, err, maybe I could just put more of this planty stuff over here. Now that I'm working over on this, for some reason, I thought my gate suddenly wants, it, it wants more attention, and it's looking small in my picture. It's looking really small. Oh, well. <laughs> I think I wanted to make sure it was small because of, of the vertical composition, but I, I miss its monumentality, but I will live with it. But what else? I, I could give it a few more, sort of, this, is, this bit is dark. And maybe dark under this thing. Gosh, and... Jenny, you said, well, what about that bit of rotten wood there? And I couldn't even see it because I was ignoring it so much. <laughs> uh, what about it? Could it? What if I could we do this? Will it look like paint marred, maybe? And then I want the edge. Yeah. I feel like, the, oh, it's just, yeah, I don't know what to do with that edge. It seems like it should probably be a sort of wood. They would have painted the edge of the gate with this. Uh, and it's dark against the light. I'm not sure how this is. I don't know. Uh, maybe you want more gate. Oh, you're very white. Maybe we want a little bit more gate here, even back here. And then maybe we don't like how solid this post looks and I could break it up and just with a little different stuff. That gets very dark up there. I don't like that. It's gonna be time to wrap it up, I think. I love the shape of these leaves. All right, it's 11.48. How did that happen? <laughs> Is there anything that you're really missing? Or that, oh, there's a lot of things I'm missing. <laughs> I want to do more, a little, this and that. But I have to stop. Okay. I'm going to accomplish all of those different tones of green. Oh, no. It's just like the picture, the color of the green, the tones of the green. Oh, it's so little.